Is there a place where AI can help? Sorry to inject uh, one of the things I'm very excited about and passionate about. So uh, Deep, uh, Google DeepMind uh, recently had a big breakthrough with AlphaFold 2, but also AlphaFold two years ago with um, achieving sort of uh, state-of-the-art performance on the protein folding problem, single protein folding, but it also paints a hopeful picture of what's possible to do in terms of simulating the folding of proteins, but also simulating biological systems um, through AI. Is there something to you combined with this brilliant work on uh, the biology side that you're hopeful about where AI can be a tool to help? Where isn't it a tool? I mean, if you're not using AI right now in biology, you're getting left behind. We use it all the time. We're using it to generate these biological clocks to be able to read those scratches. Uh, we're using it to predict the folding of proteins so we can target molecules and modulate their activity. We're using it to assemble genomes of different species. Uh, what else? We use it to uh, predict the longevity of a mouse based on how it reacts to certain things, hearing, eyesight, generally frailty. So we have we just put out a paper last year on that. Um, the other thing we can use it for, which is a little off the track here, but we use it for predicting which microorganisms are in your body, actually not predicting, telling you. So our daughter, um, Natalie, was infected with Lyme disease a few years ago, almost went blind from it, and the test took four days. And I thought, just give me the DNA from her spinal fluid. I'll go tell you what's in it, if it's Lyme disease or not. They refused. And so at that point, I said, this has to be done better. So I started a company that now can take a sample of any part of your body. It's typically done now with transplant Tran liver transplant patients to detect viruses that come out of their organs. But that's that's another area that AI is extremely important for. Um, I, I think if you're not, in five years, if you're not using you know, deep learning, you've got a problem because the amount of data that we generate now as biologists is just terabytes. It can be terabytes per week. It'll eventually be terabytes per day. And then we just go from there. And I actually have trouble recruiting enough um, bioinformaticians uh, a lot of our work is now just number crunching. 